Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. Pisces, we're going into the dark woods. These are by Sasha Graham. Pisces. But before we do, ask a question. Ask a question, yes or no. If you have to, pause the video. Ask it out loud into the room. Your answer is no. Your answer is no. And the reason being, it's because you're holding on to negative energies. Truth is that some sort of decision must be made because you're holding on to what we consider a nightmare. And the answer is no. Okay. Let's go to the Dark Woods Tarot by Sasha Graham. And we're going to do a Pisces reading. Pisces. Let's try, let's try to get a good reading. Pisces. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Pisces. Come on, let's get her done. Pisces. Conversation. Eight of Wands, conversation. Need to talk. Need to hear some kind of truth. From a soulmate. Need to talk. Need to hear some kind of truth from a soulmate. The inability to seek oneself in spirit. With the Nightmare card and the Hermit in the reverse, the inability to go within to find the answers. Just seeing what is presented to you in the world, not what can be presented to you within. But that's okay. These things happen. Two of Pentacles. And the Hierophant. And the Magician. Okay, so that only verifies what I just said. The inability to find your spirit. The inability to find Pisces. Uh, to be living in a world of maybe despair. Or living in a world of waiting on somebody else. As we all know with the Two of Pentacles, this is this imbalance. And with the Hierophant and the Great Magi, the Magician coming out here, there's an imbalance between Pisces and the outside world and between Pisces and what has been given to you from the outside world. Spiritual reading. Pisces. But you're being told to stay on course with this feeling. Now isn't that odd? With the temperance card. The temperance card says go slow. Go slow, test the waters. And mostly, stay on course. 
you know okay, okay so <laughs> okay so we got Pisces waiting for some sort of a, a a text message or someone to come and someone to talk about things and and try to balance them and not having the ability to look within not taking the time for oneself to, to see the greatness that is Pisces even with the Hierophant and the Magician here being imbalanced. This is really just needing a possible, real good cleansing. Need to find grounding, especially when it comes to spirit and when it comes to knowing that you have all the tools of the Magician. But you're being told to stay on course. Why? Why would you want to stay on course with this? The moon card in the reverse. This is Pisces. But in the reverse, it is a veil lifting. It is the ability to see past shadows. To see clearly. So stay on course. Because something is about to happen. Let's find out what it is. Other than seeing clearly, but I mean, that's amazing in itself. Eight of Cups in the reverse. The Four of Pentacles in the reverse. What are you going to see clearly? Well, you're going to see the Eight of Cups in the reverse. You're going to see that nothing has really changed. That it's all still there. And why is it all still there? Because it's a very large part of your psyche. Of your thinking. Very large part. But with the four of pentacles in the reverse. This is releasing. This is no longer holding on to it. Very, very strange reading. Very strange reading. What are we going to find out here, Pisces? It's a strange reading. It seem to be up and down here. Not quite sure what's happening. Death card. The Knight of Swords. The Nine of Wands. The Three of Pentacles in the reverse. I think what you're about to see now the death card is the death of the past to bring in something new the knight of swords is overthinking and with the nine the nine of wands is the nine hammers coming down Pisces there's something going on here I think you're starting to see something and because you're seeing it you're just suddenly going through the proper channels of healing. Now, what does that mean, Spirit? Is, is it possible, Pisces, that in healing the way you are now, that in healing you're only thinking of one entity, one energy, and not thinking of Pisces. And you're being told to stay on course because things are about to get very real for you and very clear. And that is now this ending to bring in a new ending because it didn't end right. Because we didn't take care of us. We only thought of whoever. But now the ending comes, a new ending. And that ending is feeling it for us. Not feeling it for somebody else, but feeling us. Feeling your pain. Feeling your sorrow. The Three of Pentacles in the reverse. No new foundation is being built here. But hold on. 
<coughs> spirit. A hell of a reading, right from the very beginning. Judgment. Ace of Pentacles. Justice. Four Swords. There's a healing. This is some sort of karmic healing. All right, so I lost something. We'll say we'll say I lost something that I thought was very valuable to me. Be it love or family or or someone passed or but I lost something great. And in losing that, I go into the tower. But in this tower, all I think about is what the loss. I think about the loss that I had. So I think about the love. I think about the family member. I think about the friend who betrayed me or something that happened at work, whatever it was that threw me in the tower, but that is what I'm centered on. Now to stay on course and to see things clearly and death coming in, which is death to the old tower, to what? To bring in a new tower. Well, what is this new tower? This new tower is the cleansing of you. This new tower now is seeing you. It's seeing what it has done to me. Not what it has done to them or what they have done to me, but what this experience has done to me. How I feel. And what's happening inside of me because I can see with the lack of the uh, with the hierophant and, and the lack of the um, the magi that the first tower was not about you the first tower was just the tower of them and now the tower of you and, and it appears the tower of you it's exactly where you need to go with the Ace of Pentacles coming out here and Justice. A very, very karmic card. There is some sort of karmic tower that you first went into. And this karmic tower was about a karmic. It was not about you. It was not about your healing. It was about the outside world's healing. And where are they and what are they doing? And, and are they going to come back? And, and, and why is my daughter not talking to me? And why is my son not talking to me? And, and the tower of the world. Which is not a healing tower. It is a worry tower. So there is death to this world tower. To bring in another tower. And that tower is the Tower of Pisces. That is Pisces saying, okay, look what this crap has done to me. Taking a good look at me, at how I feel, at how I've been, of going into my hidey hole, of crying constantly. Look what it's done to me. I have got to heal with the Four of Pentacles. The four swords coming out here. It's time to heal Pisces. Not the world. I can't heal the freaking world. But I can take good care of me. So this is a very interesting read. So from tower to tower. But the second tower is your true healing. Strength. Oh my god. <laughs> when Pisces finally decides it's me time, Pisces, uh, Pisces is either one way or another. Pisces is either running and hiding and crying and not wanting to see anybody, not wanting to answer the phone, unless of course a ding from the text message is from somebody that they're in the tower for. 
Or Pisces is, bam, I'm alive. I'm coming alive. Look out, world. I'm doing me. I feel the power in me. I feel the magi in me. I feel the spirit in me. Because the first tower took all that away. You, you might have been sitting there saying, why God? Why? Why me, God? Why me? And and just this thing. And, and because you're putting out, why me? Why me? The tower just gets deeper and darker. And be, because that's what you're putting out. And you're just going to get more why me back. But the second tower, it's time to do me. It's time to grieve this thing properly. Get it over. Get her on. Get her freaking done. And to gain the strength that I need with the strength card coming out here. And the Ten of Cups. It's all or nothing. I am a Pisces. It is very, very hard unless you continuously work on yourself and nobody else. It is very, very, very difficult for Pisces to find a middle ground. Because we're all one way or we're all another. We're either it's me time or it's them time. And we can freaking destroy ourselves when it's them time. We'll just self-sacrifice ourselves. We'll throw ourselves in the pit. There, there is a song. I can't remember the name of it right now. But there was a song where, this, where he sang to his love. I bring myself low to raise you high. Well, that's Pisces. I will bring myself low to raise you high. That's Pisces. And then when it doesn't work, we condemn ourselves until we realize that we got to go into the me tower. And the me tower is total and pure and truthful healing. Truthful. You're about to see. Stay on course with what you're feeling right now. If you're in the tower, stay on course with it because that tower is about to flip. And you're going to find yourself seeing a whole different way. The Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Need another card. Ten of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. Which is the work card. Working on my Ten of Cups. Working on me. Working on Pisces. It's time to take care of me. Pisces. Ten of Wands re reversed. Letting go. Letting go of the anxiety, the stress, the worry, the constant mind freaking tornado of spinning and spinning thought. So much debris freaking flying around up in there uh, that we can't catch one thought and think about it for uh, just a couple of moments to think our way through it. When another thought comes and another thought and just as you're trying to process that thought, another thought over and over and over. The devil card. Just this constant, constant thought in the head. This constant talking and reliving. Well, that's about to change big time. Four of Cups in the reverse. And the King of Pentacles. Refusing this Ten of Wands, putting everything in the reverse. Changing everything. This second tower, you will change everything about you. And, and the King of Pentacles coming out, enrichment, enjoyment, and the King of Money, the King of Wealth, the King of Success. Finding once more the Hierophant, finding once more the Magi. That is you.
Not them. You. Come on now. Star. Miracles. Be sure to give thanks for the second tower. This tower of you. The star. Great possibility. Great possibility of the three of cups. This is celebrating. I feel so much better. I went through the tower of me instead of the tower of what the world threw at me. I went to the tower of me. And the great possibility is <laughs> I feel great. I once more have found me. I, I feel great. Thank you, Spirit. And doors, of course, begin to open with the Seven of Cups. But that's a whole different level. But the level you're at now is the Tower of Them. And, and we all built that. Brick by brick, stone by stone. We'll just put a thousand red flags on it, too. We built that. By ignoring, by not seeing, by believing what we wanted, instead of what truly was. And then going into the Tower of Them. The Tower of Them, where are they? What are they doing? Are they coming back? Where's my son? Where's my daughter? What are they doing? Don't they love me anymore? Are they ever going to come back? Where are they? And on and on and on. The worry and the stresses and the bullshit that the world can throw at you over and over and over and over again. And for it to die, for the death card to come out, and for it to die, because you stay on course, Pisces, because it's coming. You're going to both to see something very, very clearly. And that is, I'm slipping into a tower, another tower, but it's a tower of me. To find me, to once more look for me. Because I know I got all the tools. And I know I can do this, and I got strength, and I got the star. And I got the freaking ten of cups, and doors are going to open. And I'm taking care of me. This is my healing time now, not the world. Okay, Pisces. Aquarius. Um, Aquarius. Cancer. Leo. Virgo. Aries. Libra. Scorpio. Virgo again. Gemini. Virgo again. Pisces, would you believe there's another Virgo? <laughs> Pisces, Gemini. All signs are on the board. These are the signs that are prominent. And I gotta wonder if you are in the tower of them, what was your question that you gotta know? But you gotta know. Because you really weren't seeing things clearly. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you like the way I read, please like and share. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell. So you'll know next time Spirit and I are here to speak with you. And we'll see you live tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Ontario time. Just ask Google. What time is it in Ontario right now? And you got my time. We'll see you then. Namaste.